Were there were houses more no, numerous in former times? No, they were not. It was a great thing to own a house. They varied in the town. You'd have um, what they'd call two up and two down. You'd have a parlour and a kitchen downstairs and two bedrooms upstairs. And the privy would be outside in the backyard. In a lot of the houses that were built by the council. Did people immigrate when you were a child? Yes. <gasps> mm. After the war, and during the war, they immigrated, yeah. Is your townsland mentioned in a song or a saying? Only the Thurless Blues, that's all, Thurless Blues, that Sarsfield Thurless. And don't you dare say a word about them. Because I'm a Thurless Blue. Were any local fairs held around about? Oh yes, on the street, where I lived. Cattle would be there at six o'clock in the morning, at the shop door. They'd be up. The jobbers and the buyers would come from, some of them would come on the train from Scotland and England to buy the cattle. And put them back on the train after buying them, then they'd put the cattle back on the train up to Dublin and they'd go off on the boat that night to England. Did, buy, did buyers ever transact business at crossroads or, or, or at farmers' houses? I expect they did, yeah, but I only saw it on the square in Thorland. Were there local traditions of fairs being held at hills, near graveyards, castles or forts? No, not that I, I remember. No. The only hill the the thing was if there was a slant up on the footpath they put the cattle up there and they looked bigger. If you came along the road, cattle looked bigger up on the field, up on the slant on the footpath. Did people work in the morning before having the having food? Well I know farmers did anyway, they milked cows and on a Sunday they went to Mass before they had any food. Mm. What kind of bread was eaten in the olden times? Well, I suppose in my time there was mainly... Yeah, there was um, ordinary bread, white bread. And then you baked brown bread. Mm. How was it made? Flour and wholemeal and sour milk. What, what, what meat often eaten? Was it fresh or salted? What kind of meat? Well, in our time, in my time, it was bought from the butchers every morning. Yeah, the, they used to eat everything they could eat. Cow's heart, liver, heart, liver. Lights, everything from the animal. Now they only eat the steaks and the choice bits. Do you know when tea was first drunk in this district? When it was first drunk, I don't know, but I do know we hadn't it during the war. From 1939 to 1945, it was rationed and you got two ounces a week two ounces of tea a week and you washed that tea when you were finished with it and dried it and used it for a week or well some people did. No. Do you remember any song or piece of music? <coughs> Spiritually I do, yeah. I love a lot of music but Mm -hmm. We had music classes, so plain chant, church music a lot. 
and then we had choirs. We went to Fishna in Dublin, Cork, and choirs. Are there, are there any ancient local monuments such as crosses or standing stones in your area? Oh, there is, I suppose. Um, uh, oh, in Thurlis, I suppose, yeah, the, the Croke Monument, I suppose, is as old as, but that was on the square in Thurlis. I don't know, it's, it's still there, it is, yeah. It is. Are there any local ruins such as a castle in the, this district? In Thurlis, no, you're still talking about Thurlis. Yeah, the castle at the end of the town, that was a, a O'Fogarty castle. Mm. What changes in the area over the years have you noticed? Oh, the improvements, I suppose, and that you have uh, nice roads to drive cars and a nice footpath to walk, and then you have lights in all the snow. Every place is lit up. And Oh, there's a lot of it being closed up too, sadly. Mm.